So this is Red's Grade 8. We coming from uh, Booth. <laughs> Booth? My fucking thick ass tongue. <laughs> well, uh, oh, we could always just edit it back. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's try this shit one more time. <laughs> this is uh, this is Red's Grade 8. We coming live from Booth's Cigar in uh, Dame Fern Square here in uh, South Africa. Johannesburg. Y'all don't know nothing about this. This shit, you see all this shit? This fancy. This fancy <laughs> shit that we're doing over here. You think they live in primitive and, and, and uncivilized? Man, you out your rabbit ass mind. It's nothing like that over here. Man. Oh, okay. Everything that, that we have over there, they have over here and then some. And I, I reiterate that and then some. Because I'm seeing shit I ain't never seen with my eyes before over here in South Africa. You know what what's out in the park about? Ah, man. What, what, what we just saw? Lamborghini? Mm -hmm. Lamborghini just sitting out there. You know what I'm saying? We, we done seen every every damn Tip. posh, what they call Tip. it, posh. <laughs> we done seen every kind of posh car that you can name just in this area alone. You know what I'm saying? So we are in a good area. But the reason why we're here, first and foremost, is to talk to Tracy Williams from Memphis 10, right next to East St. Louis. Y'all already know, we do a lot of back and forth, but my boy, he about to go, man. He leave. Last day, though. Yeah, it's the last day. So we're trying to interview him and, and, and see what he, what he learned, what he saw, and what he taken away from South Africa on his first visit here. So uh, now, let him take the floor, Tracy. It's yours, bro. You don't interview my brother. You ask the questions. I mean, yeah, I do. I, do, I, do, I guess. No, so, so what it is, right? Right, right. Y'all better <laughs> what it, like, comment, and subscribe. Right, right. It's great. Day. And and let you know, we both agreed to do this off the top of the head. We don't. He he's just like me. We don't like all that scripted shit. So, it is what it is. You you gonna see what you see. You gonna get what you get. Like right now. Oh, 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 right now doing the interview. So, I'm gonna take care of that. But yeah, that's what it is. So, uh, Tracy, man, how's it been since you've been here, man? What, what can you take away from this place, man, to give back to the diaspora in the United States, man? I'm not tell us where they need to be, man. Period. That's where you got to be. If you ain't been here, you got to, you got to come check it out, man. Look, I know people, they, don't, they go to Cancun, they go to Bahamas, Panama, he went to Greece. We go everywhere. But how many people you can ask, man, you been South Africa? What are you going to tell you? Nah. Missing they ain't, out. They ain't been here. They ain't been they think here. Because they think it's about safari life. And it ain't, it ain't none of that, man. You, you can you can get that you can pretty much whatever you want you can get that's that and that's what got me it wasn't like this okay it's about safari it's about this you know, hiking shit. tours the same thing we doing in the states I ain't seen no different no different feel it feels just like theme states but speaking of safari. When you have went and looked at the, the yeah, the, now you can go. On. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Man. Yeah, that's no. Yeah. You know the specific one I'm talking about, the nature reserve in the backyard. Yeah, that no, no. Okay, so one day was like, how many days out here? No, I did. That was probably it was like the third fourth, day, third or fourth day. Yeah, yeah. They took me on the top. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Now, I seen a lot of things. That's the one that took me completely on top. Okay, now, I'll give you an example. Going out of Miami, you seeing the houses with the yachts on the wall in their backyard. You know, that's, man, 
Okay. A that's, typical yeah, upgrade. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know what I mean? And you go to LA, that's, that's typically what you're going to see. So I come down here, we're looking at houses. God take me to the neighborhood. It's a nature reserve. Where basically they built a million dollar neighborhood mm-hmm. within a nature reserve. So as we're driving through, I'm looking at all these houses. Like, nah, they would have damn low shit oh, right shit. when we do right the interview. Did, I, did, that, I, did, that, that, did the camera go off? Nah, it's still on. It's still well, on. You know, Can you still see it? Can you still see it? It's on. It's on. But I think it's still recording, though. It's not recording. Yeah, it's still recording. Power saver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I can't remember. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> so, yeah, that's typical SA right there. Y'all just experienced it while we was doing the damn live. The shit went off. Low shit. Yeah. Low shit. Yep. And now the generators or the inverter then kicked back in and now it then came back on. So, that's the main issue. That's there. Yeah. So, if I say the issue, that, that's the main issue. Like, but after that, I deal with it. I'm gonna tell you why. Because the state, we got low shit too. I'm gonna tell you what it's called. It's called not pay- paying your electricity bill. <laughs> <laughs> they turning their lights off. Lights they ain't coming off. back on. <laughs> hey, you don't get no break. No, ain't, nah, they ain't coming back on. You gotta pay the bill for it to come back on. <laughs> so, so, so back to the, the yeah. nature, nature reserve. Yeah, so back to that, so we pull up into the nature reserve and seeing these dudes. I seen a house and I know that if you put that same house in any city, you talking about, I just say a floor per city. You talking about that house every bit at least 20, 25 million. Mm. Ridiculous. You talking about ridiculous. So now let's add to the feature that I saw. So remember the saying, but in the states, people think that they got lines and stuff running loose. They got the animals and stuff running yeah, loose. What I realize true. is, it's some truth to that statement, though. Okay? How so? How so? So the truth to the statement is, it ain't what we think, though. So in this million-dollar neighborhood, we driving through. Agent tell me. Glen Vista, right? Mm-mm. That's not Glen Vista. No, it's not Glen Vista. This was Myers Day. Oh, shit. So... You tell me, you stop the car. So, you no know, house, you know, you're going down the street, and then it's like the air was, you going to the next section of the house, so it's mm-hmm. like section right there. So I look, uh, I see zebras. And they natural habitat. Like, was no it fences? No fences, dude. No fences. The zebra could literally walk up to the street corner. Right there where we was at, if we wanted to. Zebras. What about lions and shit? So that's the thing about it. <laughs> what the ain't none of that running around. Let's, let's understand. Ain't none of that running around. Lions. We're in a city. We're not out in the rural areas where... Alright, let's get... Would you, live in a, would you go into the Florida Ever, Everglades? Hell no. Alright then, because what's in there? Everything. So it's the same thing here. You gotta go to that part. Ah, to get, to to, get that shit. You know what I mean? They ain't coming over here. That's the, mm-hmm. you know, you're talking about how many miles away? That's out of the natural habitat. Right. So right. this was a nature reserve, so they removed any of the dangerous animals. There's no dangerous animals in there. They mm. had, right, zebras, okay. antelope. Okay. Um, no predators. <laughs> none of that. And then the guy explained to me, he said, because I asked him, I said, so will the animals walk through the neighborhood? He said, animals don't operate like that. He said, they don't want to be prey. So they're not coming to an area where they be looked at as prey, so they're going to stay in their own natural habitat. Just like lions. They said, a lion ain't coming to bother you. It's now when you get out the car, you on his <laughs> turf, man. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, step yeah. foot in his house. That's nice territorial. Yeah, so imagine somebody come to your house, just open your door at midnight, walk in your house. What you gonna do? Oh, we having a we having a problem. That's how the line look at. Uh, this is my jungle. Uh, uh, what you doing here? I didn't look at it like that. Right. So you stay in your lane. 
I'm saying what, what, what most motherfuckers need to start doing anyway, but they don't. Right. Let's just be real. So on the line part, they tell you, stay in your vehicle, keep your windows up. Because you get out the vehicle, now they looking at you as a threat. Mm. Who invited you in my house? Right, right. Right. Like I said, it makes sense. I get it. Make a lot of sense. Make a lot of sense. Uh, what about what about the currency? What about the giraffe I saw? You forget that part. Ah, yeah, he was looking dead. I, I would have, well, not out of eye. No, I was literally. The fuckers tall. No, I was looking out of eye with the giraffe. Ah. So, right. so in the neighborhood, as you're driving, they got an area you can turn off into the, and now you're going to a gang drive in mm-hmm. your suburb. So you go on your own safari within your subdivision. And it was going through in the distance, you could see one of the giraffes. But it's, it's huge. So first of all, I understand this ain't no little area. This is hundreds of acres. Okay, that these hundreds. <laughs> so it ain't like this little small neighborhood. Nah. Yeah. They got land around. So you see one in the distance, man, big old giraffe is way back there. So I turned the camera, went right directly in front of it. <laughs> so we pulled up right there too. I'm just right there, just sitting there. Y'all in the regular car? Yeah, regular car. Oh shit. Yeah. It's it's like imagine in the neighborhood you got a street, but the street is the there is the road that goes through mm-hmm. the nature reserve, right? And it's got the road carved out through. And you just end up with in the area now. So yeah, so that was wild to know that you can be in your house making breakfast and you see the giraffe just strolling through. The zebra just strolling through. Nigga, that's where where you get that view from? Nowhere. Nowhere. That that's what got me to say. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. I ain't been everywhere in the United States. Yeah, you 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 gonna have to be a billionaire to get that view in the US. Oh yeah. yeah. Not a regular. Not Mike a regular. Tyson had that view. Yeah. Yeah. But not this view because he had Michael a certain Jackson, amount of land. Right. You, you, so you see what level you got to be on to have that <clears throat> exquisiteness and yeah. elusiveness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, so it's, it's not, not regular people. Mine was not that Is it? Is it? So, so, so it's not all primitive and uncivilized and you see. Uh, they, they didn't have no people. horses they was riding on. That's all. I saw Ferraris, Porsche GTRs, Maybachs. That's, that's, that's all they I and that's in multiple bucks. neighborhoods. That's in multiple neighborhoods. So even in your neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> ain't gonna go there. Yeah, though. Yeah, ain't gonna go there though. I don't want my baby mamas knowing where I live. Edit <laughs> that part. Out. <laughs> right, right. You ain't gonna get that luxury, baby. Edit <laughs> that part. Out. Wanna end the show with a to be continued meme? I I don't even know what that. We live tall.